start with your name. And we're going to introduce for the people that might be listening in the future generations listening to you. Your name's John Serquozzi. Yes. And my name's Nancy Patchen, and I'm here today to interview you for the Veterans History Project and get some ideas of what it was like for you when you were in the service. So can you tell me which which wars did you fight in, John? Where where uh, all the Atlantic. Atlantic. In, in the Atlantic. You were in World War Two? Yes. And were you in the Korean War as well? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions, and we very much thank you for your service, John. And I heard a wee little tiny bit of your story, and it's a very interesting story. Pat mentioned that you had said some things to her, and I'm sure that we'll hear more about your story as we go along. So the first thing I'll ask you, John, is when did you join the service? How old were you when you went in the- 17. 17 years old. Did your parents have to sign for you to get in? Or what? did your parents have to sign for you to get in? Or? Well, they, they couldn't see if we were, <coughs> excuse me. If we were they were, no, they listened, no bridge. Okay. So my father took me and the kids and my mother. We went to Binghamton. Okay. So you had to go to Binghamton to sign up for the service. Yes. Okay. All righty. I wonder if I had a residence in Binghamton. Mm-hmm. Well, we did. To my cousins. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of <laughs> snuck in there. But I had this. We asked my cousin if I could stay. They said yes. Mm -hmm. So they went up to three crews and they said, you're just in time. Mm -hmm. We could shut down enlisted men too. Okay. So my father says, we're getting men. He wanted to join. Mm -hmm. He says, well, we'll have to see if he passed the test. And so on. Well, I passed the test, and I say to my cousins, and the phone rang, next day, report, your test passed, and you get on. A train. Go to Shoemaker, no, Samson, New York. Mm -hmm. It was. And we had our training. We had our training there. Okay. I don't know how many weeks. Seemed a long time. <laughs> I bet it did. Long time. Yeah. Because we get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, start, start hiking. And then the fire rains and things. We had to learn all about that. Mm -hmm. Get ahead. They had barbed wires across. Mm -hmm. We had a crawl underneath the barbed wire and they shot live ammo above our head. Oh my goodness. If the fellows would lift their head up, we'd knock them off. Mm -hmm. It was boys could stand it. They're up in the barracks. Barracks were two, three story high. Mm -hmm. Just a building. And I remember the doors on each end. It's a long bar barracks. These young guys can stand it. They commit suicide. They run like hell, right out to the other two doors, like that, mm -hmm. die. Mm -hmm. That was too good many of them. I, I begin to count them. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so we got the dog. After our tree, we got Thomas and Jordan on a train. It was a box car. They had a big train come in with a box car. Load us up. And they gave us a paper plate and a cup. And they said, You keep these on your long trip. We went to Schumacher, California. Oh, that was a long trip. And, and between that, they had to change trains, engines. The boys were hungry, hungry. When the train stopped, all the sailors jumped off and seen the reefer cars. They broke into them. Get some tea, they bring it up for all of us. They were, they were that hungry. They were real hungry. Yeah. They could chew the bark off the tr trees. Oh, my goodness. Now... Then water came. It's, in the meantime, we had our place to set for the engine. We had to clean them off. Mm -hmm. Clean off and eat and say, clay, drink of water. There was no water. For it was awful. Oh my goodness! We we used to get starved, and, and they get, so finally we we made see this policeman could handle us. Railroad policeman couldn't handle us. Too many. He says, "Go on, take what you want." And that was before you even left the country. Yes. That was here in the United States. The United States. Yeah. Right. So when you did get into this, into where you were going, did you go to Germany or? Sure. Schumacher, California. Yeah. We threw our bags in a pile of wood. Like, boy, they, each part would go, their numbers could, could go overseas. Okay. Then... They picked us out, a group. So I was on, they put me on a DE, disorder escort. I was on that in there for a long time. Mm -hmm. And we were gone down towards Japan, mm. fighting. And uh, oh, before that, I was getting ahead of my game. <laughs> Before that, they put me in, called the Newbury yes, ship, 158, was transporting Marines and different soldiers uh, up towards Alaska, and that was one trip there. They down the way up the ships to hit the task. The taps out. But they straightened up. We all jumped off the ship because they thought we were going to go over. And the captain straightened the ship up. And they said, oh, get aboard. We climbed up the core. Rope is that climbed up board. He says, Now each one stay in line, give yourself a drink. I never forget it. Mm -hmm. So they had a whiskey. He gave the boy a shot of whiskey, get their blood circulation because uh -huh. of cold water. Yeah. I didn't want any. No. I don't drink. You were just a young kid. We all, we, we were all 
young. Oh, young kids. Yes. Aww. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my so goodness. So we eat them. If we got another ship coming back, they put us on another ship. Let's see. Before John A. Williamson. I was on the John Williamson 370. Is that another ship that yes, you were on? The that's John another, Williamson. That was another ship. Okay. We were going to Japan. But there was another ship that was on. It was the LSD. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was the LSD. Yeah. It was a floating dock. It was open. And we are sailing on the port server side, the uh, sailors. All I want to see the torpedo come after is going to hit our ship. Boy, they jumped off quick. <laughs> but they did. But it did hit our ship. It, it, but it didn't blow up or nothing like that. This glass it blew up afterwards. My goodness. So they had to pick the sailors back up. Mm -hmm. Put him on the ship again. We went off. Mm -hmm. It was that ship. They traced me for over. John Neal Williams aboard. Yes, John Neal Williams. Mm -hmm. I think there was another ship. Was there a. Oh, I was on a. <laughs> before that, I was on a New Jersey battle wagon. Battleship, New Jersey Battleship. Mm -hmm. Had three turrets, big six inch guns. We were going to Japan. Yeah, I remember. And we had Christmas Day. They call it Christmas Day. But the boys snuck off the ship. Well, they got off the ship. They picked up a twig and put it in the front of the bow and dressed it up like Christmas. Oh. But uh, anyway, there was a missed call for us going a different ship. That's what I did. Destroy, I destroyed destroyer. John Airways. 370, mm -hmm. that type. We went, we went to Japan. We were fighting, dog fighting. Dog fighting. So I'm wondering if we could kind of go to the part where you were a pilot. Is that part of what you would yeah. want to talk about? Or, All right. Or All right. You, you, are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay, so let me, can I maybe ask you a couple of more questions from my list? I have a long list of questions, and you have a lot to say, don't you? I know. <laughs> well, I was on Sarat oh, as another ship, the WAS. I was on a WAS. It's a sister ship, the Hornet. Okay. okay. Is that flying? Shooting the Japs. Japs are just close us. They sound like those kids are 16, 17, less than 16, mm -hmm. 17 years old. Looking at us, the way we grin. They hit my, they hit me, hit my leg. And I, I injected myself out, down our way. You ejected from the plane? Yeah. Were you in a fighter plane? Yes. It called the Wasp. The, no, the Wasp was a plane. It was a carrier. Okay. It was the aircraft. Okay, it was a carrier. Hundred planes we carried, but they were all fly out flying. The two people hit our ship, and it sunk. 
68 men to his... Was it? I'll eat those sharks. The guy that put through your water. I was coming down on the side. I see it. And screaming and hollering, praying, so forth. So uh, I laid in the water, said, Marie, goodbye. Try to get me, I got rid of the parachute. And they were after me. They couldn't find me. Waves were real hot. They drifted me out. Four days, four nights. Four days and four nights? In the water. Oh my goodness. I did. How did you survive that? I asked God. You have a strong faith in God to keep keep you safe? Oh yes. Oh my goodness. Be careful, little boy. And then sometimes, cry, get the tears of me. Rub your mouth, I catch the tears. Put my tongue, and I kept it like, boy, it was wonderful. Just a tear. Aww. And like, the time I felt the little thirsty, I just cried. Like a mm -hmm. American soldier, mm -hmm. another said, Come by, pick me up. I thought it was a sub. I thought this was a But it was an American sub. He put his flag up at Torres Sunoco, picked me up. I was on that, it's called the Kingfish. I was on there for a week. Doctor there was banning me up. He says, I can't do too much. You're going to the Red Cross ship. You're going to. I went to the Red Cross ship. That fixed up. I was there a long time. Making dollies. <laughs> then, then they never forget it. Steam puff out of blue flowers. But every time I was thinking, am I going to get out? Well, finally I did it. They put me on another ship to go to Okinawa. Mm -hmm. I was in Okinawa. Typhoon came in. Mm -hmm. It took the whole ship right above there, I love it. So, that was that ship. Finally, come along. PBY base there. PBM. Those are ships, airplanes, go to the water. And it picks up, gone. I was trying for a leave. Johnny can't get no leave now. So he took me on another ship. I was on that. We was going. We were going. We got the enemy to was an island. Just brush. No trees. What, what the hell are you doing with that piece of the ground? But they knew what they were doing. The Japs was in. The United States was, what did that land, the land their planes for fuel? They needed that land. Mm -hmm. But I got in a, another ship. And I met a, a doctor, John, no, Paul, 
His name is Paul Grebo. Yes, Paul Grebo in New Jersey. I met him. Real good friend of mine. He was a doctor. He says, John, your name's on the, the roster. You're, uh, you're going on a mind stream. He gave me some. I was really sick. To go up my wardrobe, lay down. So, next day, my name come up. Says he can't go. He's so sick. Three days later, that mind sweep blew up. Right for the host. Christ. Killed. I was dead. That's the war. So because you were sick, you weren't on that? No. On the minesweeper? I missed it. I missed it. Do Bob Paulie do no. I like to see him. And, well, we could uh, we went down south, different islands. We we'll shoot the guy. He calls you care. Come back. We had turkey toys. <laughs> that tasted good. Huh? That probably tasted good. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. If you had to do it all over again, would you do it? No. You wouldn't. No. No, no. No, under condition, no. Aww. No way. What What would you tell young people today if they asked you, should they go in the service? What would you tell them? Today's a different story. Okay. If you win, it's different. Yeah. They have equipment. Yeah. Where they don't have to go in front no more. Yeah. It's different. It's different. Yeah. It, did you get married when you came back from the service? Yes. I came back. Back. 1947. I think she's upstairs. She's, your daughter's upstairs. She's, she's getting some stuff done upstairs. Oh. How long were you in the service, would you say? Five years or... Oh. How many years were you in the service? Went to the right. Were you serving there? 21 years. 21 years? Oh. So you were a career. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, in Korea, that was a board too. Yeah. Korea time. I was an officer. You were an officer by this time? Yeah. Mm hmm. And were you stationed in Korea? Yeah. Which under MCV six battalion, battalion mm -hmm. six. The sixth battalion. Yeah. Uh huh. And I was in it. I was in Korea. I have a lot of pictures. A lot of pictures. We would, <clears throat> on the island, at the, I quit it, the natives would sneak in at night and stand guard, catch them. What are you doing? He says, we well, They could talk, we draw some out of sand. This one time, they were drawing sand on the sand. Wonder what the hell he's talking about. Up there, the sky. No, was the sky. The moon they were showing us. He says, okay, 
boom. And they draw sand out in the sand. Then they come along to draw a truck. Oh. A dump truck. They wanted to use a dump truck for some reason. Well, we had to be very careful. We don't get shot or killed. Well, so we got the buddy, got the dump truck out, brought it on. Wait, it's two or three, something like that, motion day. We lowered, let the tailgate up, no, the hoist up, the tailgate down. The guys, here comes these big turtles. Turtles? Mammoth turtles <laughs> come ashore. They would lay oh. thousands, thousands of eggs. Then they would go in, out, let the babies. A few days, the babies go out, go ashore. Well, sailors, the minators, caught the one shell. And I got pictures, brought them in, took them right beside down. So it's back. You can hear their, their clippers hitting it. Their shell, like two planks, sound like planks. They put it on a shed, on a shed, put a rowboat, no, on a dump truck. Yeah. Take us back to the mess hall. What the hell gonna do? The guy says, we're gonna cook that. Had the boys eat it. Oh, no. no. We'll watch you eat it first. They stuck them in the neck, get the blood all out as it's fur, it spins. Every time it spins, that's blood. So all the blood out. Then they got the steam, and they steamed it. They steamed it real good. They took it out of the shell. They cooked it. They cooked, they cooked that. They fed our appetite twice, meal, two meals. On it. They made the biscuits, and it was just like chicken. <laughs> wow, it, it, it was, was delicious. It was delicious. Oh. It was delicious. Only one turtle would feed one all turtle. those people? Yes. Oh, my the goodness. The breakfast time, they made that was so. Then dinner time, we had another enough over. Four. Where they spent the whole battalion. Oh, and where twice. was that? Where was that? That was in Korea. In Korea? Twice. Okay. So that was, then we got acquainted with them. I got pictures. And <laughs> we come along and started to get a little acquainted, but we still hear it. Says, well, teach them how to well. See, we, we well. A pilot has to put in the, for a disc, for the ships that come in and things. We put air bases in. Anyway, got GI cans and we put ice. We had machines, make ice. We had all kinds of machines. Mm -hmm. And uh, we teach it how the world. They, they were better than us. <laughs> teach me, teach me well. well, we got the project done. Six months ahead, we were done with our project. Wow. Washington says, go ahead and have a good party. Oh. They smashed my Jeep up. Oh, my goodness. But, but they bring their beer called When I Indy Hot Tune. They were drinking their beer. They were drinking their beer, of they, course. They weren't drunk? No. No, they put it in the ice. Yeah. Then they come along, we lost a lot of our equipment. Excuse me. Hit quitsand. Those great big, big dozers. Oh my God, they're bigger than I ever seen in my life. Got it in? Hey, give me a hell off of here. I had to get him off. Another dozer. Come in. He said, oh my gosh, yeah. got the crane. 
We got six different was all sick in there. I have pictures. I bet. Mm -hmm. And the singer. I hear this singer. Mm -hmm. So we get, says, well, take a big comfort around. Oh, we could. Oh, I don't know how big around. We, we did big, got the quicksand out. Then finally, he got down there, started pulling them in. But they're burying our equipment. Wow. Can you imagine? No, I can't. Oh, imagine. boy. You lose everything. Wow. See? Wow. Oh, I gotta tell you. Do you have any good, fun memories? Sounds like you had some very sad memories. Did, we, was anything funny, or did you have any happy memories? We, we were six months because the tower was going up. Mm -hmm. See, they were three day, three nights, shifts, three. Oh. We were three shifts. And then we had a ship. We converted in our bunk mm -hmm. and eat. That's all. The motel. Okay. We made it our motel. <laughs> we go in, eat. The second guy. Get through eating, it's, then they sleep, they go, and then the other shifts go on, three shifts. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how we done it, we got the work done. After six months, because how we got done quicker we should, we got some steel, Japanese had tunnels, the natives would take us over, with her hand draft, mm -hmm. take us over, show us underground and machine shop, mm -hmm. lumber piled up, all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. material. See, when we wanted some, we asked them to take it over. Mm -hmm. And we got done six months earlier. Yeah. Was your CBs? So yeah, it did. sounds like they worked very yeah. hard. Yeah. They, we did. And they, and then our clothes would would wear out, put it upon and put a match to it. Well the natives they wanted those clothes. Mm. Oh uh. See? <laughs> so we give <them> shoes. <laughs> they they didn't care if it was left right to put it on the right. They just they were flopping there. They were so big. They wanted the clothing. I have pictures of them. And so Anyway, they get they were happy. They had their uniforms. Mm -hmm. We took the tags off the right. Their patches. Mm -hmm. the, the ranks. And the ranks. The, the stripes. Mm -hmm. They were there, so happy. They oh. were happy. When, where did you make my little pocketbook, Dad? The sealskin pocketbook you made for Mom and me. Oh. That's another story. That's another story. I still have We was going to Alaska and that ship was oh, I can't remember that ship now. It's a transport ship. And we landed in Newfoundland. And natives there got acquainted with the name. Says, Hey, wanna go out and and this rat, mm -hmm. that rat, iceberg, mm -hmm. went to bed. I said, yeah. We went out, just young. And so we catch a small seal thing. Says, here, you can make your wife and kids. I, I think I made. I have a wallet and a little pocketbook. Yeah. I still have I, I made wallets. Talk about even for Virginia. Yes, Mom. I Mom made for all of them. He showed me how they tanned it. Mm -hmm. they, they put solid and stretch it and Yeah. Yeah. There. I did that, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That, that, was a that was a happy memory. Uh -huh. that, was, yeah. that was good. Mm -hmm. Then we would see the salmon going up running. Oh, 
I tell you another story. <laughs> yeah. There was, we stopped at uh, Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. See? And I knew the mayor there. Very good because we stopped mm -hmm. there. And I got acquainted with him. And uh, he, he says, John, what do you want? I got on the phone. I said, do me a favor. He says, what do you want, John? He says, would you give me some lobsters? Yes. How many you want? I said, well, I count. I mean, there's not a ship. We got, got the count. I went to him. I says, okay. The count was up. He says, I'll have to you. How much are 50 cents. Live. 50 cents. I'll never be it. He said, I'll have end up in the crate. Meantime, he comes. This high school band was playing. Oh. Playing, we were just having fun. Playing, they look at us. Oh, so Quasi must have done something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> the truck pulled in, took the crates down, opened some cr crates, and had plank gone down on the ship, mm -hmm. loosened up. One line gone up the plank. Oh. This show, <laughs> taking pictures. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But we had a lobster for 50 cents. Fifty cents. 50 oh my cents. gosh, that's oh so crazy. Yeah, Aww. that's a lot of cost. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a good day. Yeah, I just wonder: is it okay if I ask you a couple of simple questions? Yeah. Uh, just because I think in the beginning maybe we didn't get all of this. Can you tell me? You said so. You said you were in the military for twenty-one years. Is that right? Twenty-one years. Is that how long you were in? With this, with the reserves and all. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and do you remember what year it was when you enlisted? 1942. 1942, okay. It was 42. And you said you were 17? Yeah. Okay, all right. And then, um, let's see, what was your rank when you when you retired, when you got out? What, what rank were you? When I paid? Mm-hmm. Chief Warden officer. Okay, all right. I'm trying to think of the other questions I know that they, they like to know. Um, let's see. And so you said you got married after you were out or during the time that you were still in the service? So after I got out. After you got mm -hmm. out, okay. That was war two. I, I got married in 47, I think. I was born in 50. Mm -hmm. so. Right? I don't know when you got married, Dad. Forty. <laughs> it sounds right. It yeah, sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forty-seven, forty-nine. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Dad was twenty-one, so you did the math. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. No, that sounds right. He was twenty-one. Those are questions they like to have to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And I was just thinking. Um, I wonder if we could bring some of this memorabilia gonna, over. Yeah, I was going to walk around and, and take pictures oh, okay, of it. Oh, okay, all right. Yep, yep. We'll, we'll get there... some pictures of all these cool things that you have, some of your memorabilia, your hats, and things like that, and we, we can upload them, too, mm -hmm. to, the, to the website. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you want us to know, anything else we haven't talked about that you want us to know to have on this video? Oh, there's so many things. Yeah. Yeah. But I, mm -hmm. it would talk to me. Mm -hmm. You gave us a good overview, though, mm -hmm. I think, of what it was like. It was it, it was sad sometimes. It's awful. It's awful. It was sad. You guys would commit suicide. Terrible. Mm -hmm. And somehow you made it through yeah. all of that as such a young man. I, I tell you what, uh, the time I the teachers, uh, Teaching us what to eat, and not to eat, mm -hmm. out in the audience, out in the, the different islands of the world. They would give us a cup, a tin cup, aluminum cup. It would fold up, yeah, put it in our pocket. 
then put it on and drop two pills in it. No matter how muddy you get drinking, the mud would sand it down the bottom. Oh, Dad, you could drink the water. Dad, when was Dad? Mm -hmm. Dad, when was Uncle and Tony? And then they had, they had lizards, different animals, not to eat and eat. You can eat lizard. So some of them. Yeah, the ones that come up on the trees and things. And yeah, they taught us all that. So you survived through that. Through when we the, were out the islands. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, Uncle Tony, Uncle Andy, and Uncle Junior, were they ever on your ship altogether? Hey, hi. Andy and Tony and Junior was on the ship. I looked up right over the... Yeah, Grandma What's has the What's her name? Ship. Has that picture? Yeah, Grandma has the ship, yes. No. Oh, Lori? Lori okay. took the... The big, it was a big ship. Picture. Yep. Yep. And my brothers asked me many times, they come on over. Oh, I tell you that. <laughs> anyway, they wanted me to I'm an officer. I couldn't go aboard. Mm -hmm. See? They, they know, and I would. I would cater more to them, mm -hmm. my, my brothers. Oh, I, I understand. Yeah. They're afraid of that, see? Yeah. Can't mix with white hats. The officers are the one. Mm -hmm. Well, the another time, I had a ship. Oh, it was a carrier. We were going. Anyway, my cousin was on the ship, and he, I looked. I went up the gameplay. I looked at Roger. Excuse me. Be names on the. Everybody aboard ship says the ship be on it. Their names. I said, the officer today, who's that guy there? Could you find out who he is, mm -hmm. where he's at, and so forth? He did come back and he says, he's done engine number one, way down the hole. And I says, okay. So I went out to eat my wardrobe I had. I said, my cook, make me a couple of steaks and wrap one up into it. And he said, what are you going to do that? Ah, uh, he said, surprise. So I fixed it up, went down the ladders, got over the chief there, the chief I went, Anthony Esposito. Uh, he's in one, number one engine room. We were calling, he said, did you? So he got his speaker called him, says, come on up forward. And he did. He said, me. Aww. Grandma wanted Pardon all me. the boys so together. So I mm. pulled out this steak. I said, Anthony, I don't know how you're going to spread the rub with the boys. I don't know you can do give us a smile. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him the steak and said, good luck, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Aww. His aides were green. Green. Oh, they wow. eat them. They yeah, eat them. yeah. They're green. Uh, so we had potatoes in the back of the fur fan tail, piled out wood in burlap bags. We'd get them and eat them like apples. Yeah. yeah until our side... Or put supply ship come in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tie up. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's always doing it. How Boy. long would you how long would you go before you would the supply ship would come? Would it be a long time in between the supply ships? Oh yes, a uh, long time. Wow. They hit some rough leather and they couldn't get through because uh, it was hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to, for them to get. Do you feel like uh, overall? Do you feel like it made you a better person to have gone through that, or was it horrible? Well, I'll put it this way: we were young, and we thought we were Superman. Mm -hmm. They couldn't lick us because the shots they gave us 
made us that we weren't afraid of nothing. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Because I do remember things we've done. I do like mine today. No way. No. Thank you so much.